Hi folks and welcome to another Townie tutorial with me, Major Graft, and today we are going to be looking at the basic commands that everyone will need to navigate their first few hours and days in a typical uh, Townie server. And we're going to split this down into just the basics for this uh, video and uh, I'm going to be doing future videos on more in-depth things like running a town and some of the uh, more complicated things like uh, running a nation. But for now, we're going to have a look at this, which is uh, uh, the town that I belong to in the Shadow Kingdom server where I play, and we're gonna go through some of the basics. Before we start getting into the nitty gritty of individual uh, commands, I'm going to just highlight the fact that on Townie, there are a set of uh, different categories. Uh, which you're going to have to be familiar with and i'm going to put these up on the screen now there is slash townie slash plot slash resident and slash town now all of these uh, categories are going to form the basis for the main commands that we're going to use as we go through this tutorial and obviously a couple of them are quite similar you have uh, slash townie and slash town uh, hopefully as the tutorial goes through uh, you should start to see the difference between them. Slash townie basically is more global commands. You'll rarely need them that generally change the uh, way the plugin works. Uh, the one that you'll use the most is slash town for when you are finding out about towns or eventually running them yourself. Folks, a handy side note whilst we're talking about that, these can be abbreviated. So you can often, where I say slash townie and then a command, you can type slash t. The same for plot, you can, instead of typing slash plot, do slash p and so on. So if you see me using those shortcut uh, commands whilst we're doing the tutorial, hopefully that will help you understand what's going on. So the first step on any townie server is finding a town to be a part of. And you might find players who will invite you to their own towns, uh, which is an excellent way to start. But if not, your first command should be slash town list. And here you can see this gives you a list of all the towns on the server, how many residents they have, and if they're open. So if a town is open, that means that you'll not need permission by its mayor before you can claim a plot. As I just explained, if you don't want to type town list every time, you can instead abbreviate town to T slash list, and that will give you the exact same information in the chat. Now, it's rather difficult to choose a town simply from a list in the chat, so you need to be able to visit these towns and have a look around to see which one you like the look of. So, there's an easy command to help to do that, and it is simply town or t spawn and the name of the town that you want to visit. In this instance, I'm going to go to the spawn for Lockish, which is my town, as a good example. So here we go, it teleports us to the town spawn like so. Now, not all towns have spawns that are public that anyone can visit. So you may try that with a town name and it won't take you to their spawn point. If that's the case, either find someone who lives in that town and ask for them to TP you there or simply look for a different town. When you arrive in a new town and uh, have a look around, the first things you want to look at is what the town is like to live there. Very often you will have things like uh, boards with rules uh, and introductions as to who uh, runs the town. Also, there is a really handy command that we can use here, which is slash town or slash t and then the name of the town. And that will give us in the chat menu a whole load of information about the town, which you can see here. It will tell us, uh, very importantly, what the tax is. Obviously, when you join a town, it's going to cost you money and that can be different. It can be, in this case, a percentage of how much money you have in your uh, balance, or it could be a flat uh, rate per day in-game uh, that you're going to have to pay. Uh, it's good to know that and decide whether you want to pay that before you become a member of the town. 
Also on this uh, bit of information, you can see how much money is in the bank of the town. It's perhaps not a good idea to join a town that looks like it's broke because it probably won't last very long. So it's worth noting here. It also tells you who's in charge, who the mayor is. So in this instance, Lockish is uh, owned by uh, Rononic. And you can see here anyone in the uh, town who has a rank. So you can see, for example, that here's me, Major Graft, I am a manager in the town. It will also give you a list of all of the residents, or most of the residents, as you can see here. We have 98 residents, so not all of them fit on. But it gives you a good idea of who lives there, how much it will cost you to live there, and how that town is doing. So now you've found a town that you want to join, and if you've seen that it is open, you should be able to join it by doing the command T join and then the name of the town like so now obviously i already belong to a town so it won't let me join it twice but when you do that you should become a member of that town and you'll now be able to claim plots so uh, also even if it is open it is good to find out who is in your town who runs it and who the active players are so you can get friendly with them and get to know them uh, if you want to know who is online who is a member of your town it's really simple. There's another command which is T online, and that will tell you exactly who in your town is online in the chat. You can see at the moment only I am in my town online at the moment. But if there were more players, you would see a full list of all the players in your town who are online, and you can start to chat to them and get to know them. Now, if you found a town that you'd like to join but it isn't open, what you'll need to do is find the mayor or one of the members of the town who has a town rank that can add you and ask them if you can join. If they say yes, they're simply just going to do a little command on their end that will help you join the town and then you're free to claim plots uh, just in the same way that you would have if it was an open town. So, now we're on to point number three, claiming your plot. Once you've joined the town, what you're going to want to do is find a plot for you to claim and start building. Now, these plots are going to be different sizes depending on the server that you're in. In our server here on Shadow Kingdom, we have nice, generous four chunk plots, as you can see. Each mayor is going to make that more or less obvious depending on their style. As you can see in this town, the uh, plots are nicely marked out so that you can see where each plot starts and ends. In some instances though, like in our town of Lockish, we like to keep the environment looking natural. And so you will not have marked out borders for plots to see which are available and which are already claimed. There are a few ways that you can see whether a plot is claimed or not. The easiest is just to uh, fly around and as you move into a new plot, you will see in the chat uh, when you move into an unclaimed plot, it will say unowned for sale and how much it costs to claim that plot. If you fly over other people's uh, plots, you'll see in the chat there, it turns into the name of the person who owns it. For example, Pranab over here. Alternatively, if you want to find all of the plots that might be available in a town, you can use the command townie, not town, townie map. And that will give you this rather strange looking map in the chat. Now, this basically marks out all of the plots and gives them different symbols and there's a key here on the left hand side. The symbols uh, help you find plots because any with a dollar sign like this will be plots that are for sale and plots that you can buy and claim. Now, that map is facing uh, north to the top if you're not sure which way you're facing, it's really simple. If you hit F3 to bring up this here, you can see over to the left hand side, it will say facing and then the direction you're facing. So for example, we're facing south at the moment. So we can tell from the map that two chunks south is a plot that we can claim. So if we move a little bit south here, here we go, voila, this plot, this small hill here, is for sale and we can claim it. And we would do that by using the command plot claim. And the chat will tell you that that claim is processing and then that is being claimed. So now if you fly out of the plot and then back into the plot, the name will have changed to 
there you go, my name Major Graft. Of course, if you change your mind and decide you don't want that plot, there is a command to unclaim the plot, which is simply plot or p unclaim, which will unclaim the plot. And now if we fly out of the plot and back into it, it now says unowned again, and it is for sale for someone else to claim. Now, be careful. Obviously, if you've spent money on a plot, you do not get that money refunded if you unclaim. So only claim plots when you're absolutely sure that that's the plot you want. Once you've claimed a plot, sometimes you may be able to name it yourself. Not every town and every mayor will give the permission for that. But if they do, you can do plot name and whatever name you want to give it. Like if I wanted to build, a, let's say, a farm, I could say plot name farm. And if that was my plot and if I was allowed, it would change the name of my property so that when someone flew over the border of my property, that's the name that would show up. So now you've learned how to find a town, join a town and get your very first plot so you can start building and enjoying townie. But there are a few more commands that are worth learning to make your first few days that little bit easier. And the first one is very similar to one that we've used already. And it is going to be slash town or slash T, uh, which will give you the information of the town that you're in. Now we've already seen this, but before we were doing it, before we had become a member of the town. Now we can keep a track of this simply by doing slash town or slash T. Now, obviously, as I said before, your town having money is really important. Uh, we're looking quite healthy here. Uh, as you can see, but if that's getting low, you can help out your team by depositing more money in the town bank by doing T deposit and then however much, let's be generous and give 10,000. And there we go. I've donated an another 10,000 on top of the tax that I pay as a town member. And when we do slash T again, you will see that that figure has gone up now so we've helped our town survive and thrive now obviously you're only going to want to deposit extra money into the town when you have that money spare so we need to be able to see how much money we have and that's really simple we're going to use slash resident or slash res or even slash r we have lots of options there and that gives you a similar screen that we had for slash t except this refers to you as an individual and you can see a lot of detail here it tells me how many plots i own what permissions i have which i'm going to go into in a lot more detail in a, in a later video and importantly how much money i have in the bank so there you can see i have just over fifty thousand uh, dollars in my bank account so i can spare a little extra cash it also shows you uh, what ranks i have in townie as well so lots of information to help you uh, know how you're doing as a resident interestingly if you want information about another player you can also do res resident or slash r and then the name of another player and it will give you that same screen but for a different player so i can see that renonic here who's our mayor is absolutely loaded with 2.3 million dollars in the bank i can see uh, lots of information about them that's really helpful to keep track of other players and there you have it folks, all the commands you need to start out your first few hours and days in Townie. I hope that's helped guys and in uh, our future videos we're going to be doing lots more in-depth tutorials on Townie, how to create a town, manage a town and even to start delving into running and being a part of nations as well. So lots more content to come. So guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, uh, hit a like if you've enjoyed this content and we'll see you in the next one.